This is Mohammad Abu from Visual Edge and today we are going to learn Cinema 4D soft body dynamics as you have seen before. So, fire up Cinema 4D and let's get started. So this is how our final scene will look like when we are finished. So if you want this collider handles then you can download this from the link in the description if you are very bad at modeling just like me. I have modeled this inside Blender as I am not comfortable with Cinema 4D. So create a new scene file and then hit that icon for getting a cube and then select the scaling tool and click anywhere and drag just a bit so that you reach to the point where you want your cube to be. Next, I want this cube not to fall when we make this a soft body. So right click on it, go to the simulation tag and give it a soft body tag. Sorry, soft body tag. Right click, simulation tag, soft body tag. And now if you hit play, there you go. We have got some basic physics, but we don't want that. So what are we gonna do? Go to simulate particles and then add an attractor. Click on the sort body tag just over here and then go to the force list and under the force mode make it exclude and then just click and drag the attractor to the force list just like that go to the attractor increase its strength to 500,000 and just decrease the speed limit to 2000 change the mode from acceleration to force there you go now if you play we have got some cool physics like it's floating in the air without moving and now if you want this cube not to be for like just a few centimeters just select the attractor pull it up if you want to be precise and now if you hit play there you go it's not moving next we want this to collides with something but first of all, let's go to the display and turn on ground shading lines just to see the wireframe of our cube as well as the solid mode. We don't have enough geometry, like it's only got 6 facelets. So we will go to the object tab and then increase the segments all the way up to 10 by 10 by 10. And now if we hit play, now it's showing us some cool soft body simulation as the attractor is attracting it. It's Going to. So to fix that, select the, go to the soft body tag and under the structure, just increase it to 500. And under shape conversion, just bring up the stiffness all the way up to something, I guess 500 should be enough. And now if you play, look, it is maintaining its default shape. Now we need something to hit. So I have provided the link of the handle in the description. If you want, you can make all your own collider. So just select this, hit open and click OK. And this is the basic model. If you if you are seeing, if you are too having this transparency, just delete that material up over there under the keep. I'm sorry, just the material tag just over there. Just delete that. And now just hit Control C, go to window, go to your default project in which you are working and then hit paste, Control V paste. You cannot see this because it's way too much tiny. I don't know why. And then you can just hit the scale up tool and click and drag and drag and drag until you are done. All right. So now we will just animate this hitting the cube just like that. So before doing this step, before animating anything, first of all, we will finally do our render settings and update our project details so click on the render settings icon and then I want this to be 1920 by 1080 and 25 frames per second after you're done just hit ctrl D to open the project settings and under the project setting turn the FPS to 25 as well remember you should match that thing and we will give it a 250 frames and double click on the timeline there and then you have it and now we want this to animate so select it and hit the keyframe icon there and then move to 20 frames I guess and then push it wherever you want it to be and then click the icon again 
go to 20 frames or 10 frames according to your own preference and then hit remember every time you change the position don't forget to hit the keyframe icon it automatically updates the keyframe i will make this hit the cube two times and the second time i will make it hit much more harder than the first time hit the keyframe icon and then you are done now if you hit play good now i want this to affect the cube so i will go to the gear and just delete this all this unnecessary tags keep this one right click simulation tags collider body and now if i hit play oh gosh <laughs> the cube is falling but yeah it's colliding so go to the attractor and just increase the speed limit much more higher 2000 i guess should be fine and now if i hit play as you can see it's working perfectly but but the cube after getting hit it is maintaining its own physical property so what we're gonna do is go to the cube under the sort body tag just decrease the elasticity limit of the shape conversion from thousand to zero and now as you can see it's working completely fine now to give it more geometry just select the cube and there is a subdivision surface just hold all the option on your mac and pc click on the subdivision surface by selecting the cube over here and it's applied as you have seen we have got enough geometry and to be honest it will be fast enough just i want this the subdivision to be exact same as in the render so i will take the both at two level two and now if we play look it does not affect anything now if you want more of the handles then what you can do is just click on the cube icon and give it a null put it inside the null and click the null and then you can copy and paste it just control c and control d and just take the null not the handle the null and then you can just rotate this to minus 90 degree and you have got two copies and everything is same over here you don't need and now if you play it is acting perfectly there you got our first soft body simulation if you want the time variance then you can select the keyframe of the second handle if you want this and you are done now for the shading part just select the gear first of all let's do some lighting just go here to the lighting tab and i will add an area light there we have because area light is the best thing in terms of lighting according to me if you got some cg presentation and if you have something natural then you can go various thing you can take a sunlight or anything else we'll just scale it down and position it in front of the cube don't worry about the back part we will handle that later select the camera and then go to and take physical sky and this will complete everything just choose the timing according to the time the shading will stop i, I think that 12 is just fine if we hit render now this is our result and now for the second part that is shading we will shade our handles and the cube as well so first of all let's start with handles go to the create and new material double click that and apply that material to both the handles separately and now double click the material and we will give it a quite a metallic thing so go to the reflection tab default specularity and then just change this addictive mode to metal under a type just select that reflection legacy and then if you want this you can make it any color of metal that totally depends on your preferences and if you want then you can decrease it or increase its brightness and you can change whatever color you want i will leave that to white just close that and hit render 
this is our render result we, you can make this reflective we will make that reflective later so first of all give it a cube a metal again create a new material and apply that to above the subdivision surface that doesn't matter you can apply it double click it and again in the color tab we'll leave it as it is and reflection tab we will again here we'll go to the reflect default specularity and make this a metal and reflection legacy decrease down the roughness all the way up to zero and increase the reflection strength this gives it a interesting feel a metal being crushed and here is the render result now we'll give it a flow you can give this floor but you cannot scale it up manually so if you are planning something small then look we can't increase that so just delete the floor if you want something much more bigger and precise and simply without adding a floor we will add a plane just pull that down so yeah i am totally fine with this scaling and we will give it a new texture as well the plane double click that and i will choose i have in the my original video i have used an orange color but this time i want to try blue we will just play with these specularity settings i want this with a good fall off and reflection legacy this time we will not give it a metal material i don't want that i just want it to be quite reflective and yes i want it to be a specular to reflect the lights as much as possible play with the settings until you get your result now if you are trender this is our result now the shadow is to us if you want if you like that look you can leave it or what we can do is go to the plane area light shadows we will choose a soft shadow and decrease the density 22 percent and under the physical sky you can play with everything if you want you can choose your country anytime sky color intensity everything you have tons and tons of controls over there and under the sun you can i i am decreasing the density again to 20 percent and leaving that shadow type to area not ray traced or hard i want this shot and if you hit render there you go there you have it now position the angle in which you camera and then select the camera and then go and select this small square icon and now you are in the camera mode i want this to be orthographic so i will select from perspective to parallel and there you have it i don't know why but i feel this thing very cool and very good way of presenting things and now you have set up our camera and before we render a thing go to the render setting and under effects in just select ambient occlusion and if you want some light scattering realistic then you can select global illumination over here but i don't want that because and i personally prefer that it will increase your render time drastically so just keep it and increase the anti-aliasing to best hit render i want this gear to be reflective so i will choose the material of the and then under the reflection i will decrease the roughness and i will increase the reflection and now if you hit render there we have it so this is our final result if you want your camera to be placed down then you can manually adjust it according to your need if you think the plane is too small then obviously you can increase drag anywhere by selecting the scaling tool and there you have it completely lighting shading and this sort body dynamics tutorial i hope you like it and if you learn something just do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to save this you can save this at any format jpeg or png and you can take this only 8-bit channel under the jpeg select the render path give your file a good name because it is going to render under sequence so before saving is just give your file a name there you go i am going to give it a quick cube smash
and the output makes sure to change this from current frame to all frames otherwise it is going only going to render the first frame and hit the render icon and this will start rendering i don't want to render that i already have it so there you go there we have it if you learn something do not forget to share this video and hope you see the next time until then stay safe stay home